talk to you about t-shirt surgery. You can make t-shirts into many different things and today I'm going to show you what we at DIY Style like to turn our t-shirts into. This is our rocker tee from the book My Style My Place and it is combining two different t-shirts, a striped t-shirt along with the regular basic shirt and we added the sleeve. This dress is from many different t-shirts as well as some scrap fabric. This is a t-shirt here, this is a different one. This was a plain yellow t-shirt and then this was some scrap fabric. And this is also another t-shirt. So I combined all these t-shirts into one unique garment. The shirt I have on as well is also a t-shirt surgery project. I ended up taking my pattern from DIY style pattern line with McCall's and I did this view here and it's actually three or four, four different shirts. This was a separate shirt. This was another shirt. This was a plain brown shirt and this was a separate shirt. So I used four shirts in making my shirt from a pattern. So what we're doing is using our t-shirts as our fabric instead of yardage. I am making a pair of shorts from our loungewear pattern from our DIY style McCall's pattern. I have my pattern pieces cut out and I have a couple of blank solid t-shirts that I'm going to cut out the body of my shorts with. I have a pink and a gray one as well as I have sh some shirts from Susan G. Komen, The Race for the Cure, and I'm going to cut out these and use them as appliques on my shorts. I have my pattern pieces cut out of my t-shirts, and now I'm going to look at my t-shirts that have the design. I'm going to cut out an applique out of these shirts using my chalk. I'm going to draw around the area that I want to cut out. I'm going to cut it out and then stitch it on my pattern pieces before I sew them together. I chose these t-shirts because it is Breast Cancer Awareness Month and DIY Style fully supports the Susan G. Komen Foundation and the Race for the Cure. I'm going to set mine down here and you're going to pin outside your stitching line, which I have mine marked right there. So that one's ready to go. And then I have my backs here and I just pin the center back just so I can get an idea of my design, of my layout. And I cut out the breast cancer ribbons. I thought it was a really cool design. So I'm going to place it, I think, near the top of the shorts and then my band's gonna go above it so I think that's a good placement for it and then I'm going to stitch my center back seam and then lay this on top and stitch it. I'm stitching around the edge of my motif on the stitching line that I drew before I started sewing around the edge of where I liked the design. It's kind of a free form you don't have to be specific anywhere but I like to leave an eighth of an inch around my design or wording or object that you're sewing. Now I have my motif sewn onto my shorts. I'm going to trim away around the edge. Be careful not to catch the stitching. I have my completed pair of shorts. I have the applique on the front and the applique sewn on the back and then I sewed the shorts together and put on the band and I'm actually leaving these unhemmed. I like the the cut look with the cut motifs so once you wash them up they'll look great. You can do t-shirt surgery with just about any pattern so gather your t-shirts and get going. For more projects like this visit DIYstyle.net